In this video, we're going to learn how to separate tracked graphics from your background videos so that you can color grade them separately and they don't live together. Here's what I mean. Here we have this footage with this tracked text and it looks really cool, but we're tracking this to the video so that the text moves along with the camera shake. But when we go to color grade this footage, it also affects our graphics. And so if we're working with color graded footage and we don't want to mess with the colors of our graphics, what do we do? Well, I'll show you quickly how to separate this so that you can color grade your graphics or your footage while still having them tracked. My name's Casey. I help content creators make amazing visual effects and graphics inside of Fusion. I also have a free video course, the Fusion Survival Guide. It's available in the description below. Let's jump into this technique, shall we? Here we have our composition, and this can be absolutely anything, anything that you kind of want to overlay over your actual footage. If you want to learn exactly how to do this, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video on specifically how to make this. Get in the comments! <laughs> but as an overview, we have some 3D text that we're putting into a merge 3D with a couple of lights and we're putting that into a renderer 3D. That's going through a planar transform that we've generated by tracking these trees back here, just a normal 2D planar track. And now those words sit on top of the footage and they move along with the camera. To get this to write on, all I did was keyframe this text 3D right here where it says write on, I keyframed the end point. So now this looks good. And if we switch back over to our edit page, we have our footage here and that looks fine, except for this footage isn't graded and it's gonna mess up the colors of our graphics if we grade this shot, because this is all one image. So to separate these into separate clips, we're gonna do a little trick. Here's how it works. This green clip, this is the one that I've been working with and we've just opened that in Fusion to create our graphics. So what I'm gonna do is hold down Alt or Option and just drag this up like this. That's gonna make a copy of this clip. And so we have this clip here and a copy of it right here, okay? So we're gonna put that over it. And this top copy is going to be the graphics and the bottom copy is going to be the original footage. So let's just turn off this top one real quick. And this bottom one, to reset this fusion composition, I unexpectedly right click on this and go up to where it says reset fusion composition. If I click on that, that will ask if I'm sure I wanna do that. And I said, good golly, yes reset and our graphics go away. So this is just the footage as it is without any silliness in Fusion. See, told you nothing happening, but we still have this comp that we made right here in our second layer. And let's just change this color to violet, okay? Now we still haven't solved our problem because if I move this over, we'll see we still have the footage behind it, right? All we've done is reset the bottom layer. So on this top one, let's go into Fusion. And again, this is what our comp looks like. We have our background footage and our graphics over it. So really all we have to do is get rid of the background footage and keep the foreground. So this could be as simple as just disconnecting our media in, which is our original footage, except for our merge doesn't work if that happens. So we could select this merge and hit control T to switch the foreground and the background. We could even just select this merge and delete it. And that would probably work fine too. The only thing we got to make sure of here is that our text and our render and everything is the same size as our original footage was, which it will tend to default to, so it shouldn't be a problem, but you wanna double check that. If this tracking isn't working or if something looks strange, it's because of that most likely. But we should just be able to do this and we can keep this media in there for now. It doesn't matter, it's not gonna hurt anything. Then we switch back to our edit page and now we have, if I just hit D on the keyboard to enable disable this, we have just our graphics on one layer and just our background on the other layer. We'll see if I move this around, they're in fact separate. But do they play back? If I play this back, yep, the movement and everything still works and that tracking is still there. So that's a simple way to separate those. And now I can go into the color page and I can select whichever clip I want to adjust and I can change them individually. Do my color grading on one of them and it doesn't affect the other one. Very, very cool. One thing to note on this upper comp is if you're having trouble with the resolution here, it might be a good idea to make a background node like this, turn the alpha all the way down so it's clear and make sure the image size is the same as your original footage. And then you could merge this planar tracker over the background and put that into the media out and that would work just fine too. It's gonna be the same in this situation, but it might help you out in other situations to just merge things over the background. That's a general pretty good practice because Fusion Compositions always set their comp size to the very background node. And so it's nice to just generate a background and specify the size so you're in control and you're not kind of leaving it up to Fusion to guess. Either way, it totally works. And now we have our separate layers here 
in our edit page. I think that's a pretty useful tip. That is a little trick that I use a lot to separate these things. It's great to have your graphics in a separate fusion composition, especially if it's going to be something like a lower third or something like that. But when it's something that you're actually tracking to the motion of a piece of footage, this might be a good way to go. Hey, if you want to learn more fusion tricks and things like that, well, check out the Fusion Survival Guide. It's a free video course. It's available right now. There's a link in the description. And I hope to see you there. I just hope you, I hope to see you there. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You watch my videos and that's really cool. That's really cool. Thanks.